Hey guys, welcome back to Harley Poor. Uh, as usual, when you see me, I've got something else to do to the motorcycle. And uh, something I've wanted to do for a little while. A while back, I did a external breather system, a DIY at home, one I rigged up. And it, it's working okay, but I wanted something foolproof. So, as you can see, I've got my Screaming Eagle right there. The problem with this, the bolts are covered up. You can't do anything with that without drilling in there. Sorry, drilling in there or doing something in here. And that's what I did. I did something in there and I'll put a picture up of it if I think about it. Which I hate to lose my Willie G cover. I'm not entirely sure it won't work on the other one. I'm going to find out. But... Screaming Eagle, Harley makes it such a pain in the butt to do an EBS on any of their stuff. The factory ones are easier to do than that. I, I put one on my factory air cleaner before I switched it. But what I've got here is everything from DK Custom Products. And custom spoke cover for the Outlaw 606. Packing plate for the cover, the hardware there, got a rain sock, catch can that I need to polish up, doesn't come polished, it doesn't take long, air filter, a little smaller. I tell you what, that cover may fit. I may be able to swap them out and run either or. Here's my gasket. Hardware. Fancy little stickers for my toolbox because I like stickers. Pay a lot of money just for stickers apparently. What else do we got in here? information about the filter that's it in there uh, I'm not sure which box I came out of but I'm gonna find out here's the outlaw breather system Breather System EBS, Harley M8, Milwaukee 8. All right, let's open it up. Those, yes, it goes to go through the filter, breather bolts. Bracket. That. That was the filter. I don't know why that was in there. I had all this out of the box, put it back to carry it out here. So, there's the transformer right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff out of the packages. I'm going to take it all out of the packages, lay it out. It says to go through your parts list, see, make sure everything you need is there before you start your project. And that's what I'm going to do and I'll bring it back to you and show you what goes where before we start. I, I did read the directions. I want to make sure I do it right. Now I also watch all the DK Custom Products YouTube videos. That's most of what I do is watch YouTube if I'm not figuring something out to put on YouTube. But uh, I've watched all their videos. That's why I went with their product. They have the best, best EBS system out there. And they've got really good numbers and quality on their, their filters and everything. So their breathers, the outlaw breathers are really good. So that's why I went with them. And they know their stuff. They ride. Um, from what I've seen on their videos, Kevin and Dwayne are the faces of DK on YouTube. 
and they do a really good job of explaining a whole bunch of different things for your bike. You know, heat, as far as it breathing, from that to just about anything that you may want to do yourself. And they sell a lot of it there. So, and they've done videos on this stuff and I've watched them. So, we're going to attempt to do it, make them proud. So, I'll be right back. All right, guys, got a laid out. I'm going to turn this around. This is everything out that comes with the kit. First thing is the external breather. And this is for your hose or catch can. This is if you want to make it a plug for down here. Comes with the Allen wrench. And we are supposed to tighten all these up, make sure they are hand tight. Comes with a gasket. It comes with a bunch of little O rings because you are going to need to put these O-rings in here. They don't pre-install them in case they come loose and get mixed in with the packing material. Comes on both of them. You will have these light aluminum breather bolts. Wrap them in tef Teflon tape. I did that to save time. Um, also this whole kit, this is all catch can. Same thing, it's not polished. I'll have to polish that. Put it on, it comes with an extra gasket to go in there. This, I believe is for, I can't remember what that is for. It comes with extra though. I think it was for in here, but I'm not sure. Because you can block off certain sections of this and make it um, EPA compliant. But it might be for in here. I just, I'm sorry, I can't remember. I've read a lot of stuff because... These come with a lot of instructions for different uses with without this. Um, so I was trying to figure all that out because quite a few parts. I do know for an M8, like here's your filter, here's your hose. I do not need that because I'm using the external breather. This, it comes with this spacer. So if you buy the outlier cleaner without the external breather you have to use that but it says with the EBS the transformer you don't have to use that um, it comes with these I believe I'm not gonna need one of those gaskets backing plate it comes with these but these are pre-installed I think for twin cams you see the difference you have to use an end wrench an Allen wrench to take those out put these longer ones in for the M8 is what it said. Um, spacers, let's see, these, these bolts will go through the washers to attach that to these when you put the filter on and everything else pretty self-explanatory. This, I do need to attach these foam pieces to this backing plate that'll go in there need to attach that so it keeps that from rubbing so that's what I've got to do I'm gonna set this up so you can see what I'm doing over here I have already taken my old one off and cleaned up the inside it was it was pretty oily I sprayed some carb cleaner inside there I let it sit and run down if I try to start it right now it'll choke it so that's what I'm doing. I'll be right back. Back. And this is what we've got right here. You want this face in the back. Oh, you know what? I did. I forgot to tighten this. Uh, in their videos, they show to do it long ways with that so you can't over tighten it because it is aluminum. They are all tight. So we have got a gasket and it can only go on one way because of the notches right there. So that is how we're gonna 
proceed to put it on. I'm going to line it up with, with this. Well, like that. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take these standoffs. I'm not going to put any Loctite on them right away. I'm just going to barely thread them in. To line all this up. Hold your gasket in place. And then we'll put the breather bolts in. And it allows you to slide that out of the way while you do the breather bolts. I've already installed the rubber O-rings on each side. Already put Loctite on these. We just slide them up under there. And then you will start the bolts. And just hand tied it first. I'm just going to tighten it till it bumps. Because you're going to need to torque these down. Just make sure these are lined up properly so you don't have any leakage around the O-rings. Now, my book, the Torque Specs A-listed, my book for this 18 Ultra Limited shows for the breather bolts. 22 to 24 foot pounds. And now I've got this on. I'm gonna up that just a little bit. I like to go, I like to split the difference. I've got it on 23. Okay, we're supposed to wait for that gasket to compress for a little while and do that again. So, now we've got that lined up. We've got our other two gaskets. We'll pull these back out. Now, these had Loctite on them. Remember to Loctite them when you put the new ones back in and leave the Allen end out. Alright, so that should go like that.
But I've already messed up. This is a DIY channel. You're going to see me mess up occasionally. I put a touch of blue Loctite on every one of these. I'll be honest, I put Loctite on everything on this thing. You don't want to lose a single thing off of this going down the road. And I've already done what I wasn't supposed to. See? DIY. Now I've got a oh, learning experience. That's tightened up, so we're good there. We're supposed to check these again. It says to do it a couple times. See, it turned a little. I'm pressing that gasket. It turned a little there too. I'm gonna get the rest of this ready. In preparation, these fittings, decide which one you want. Because this is kind of what we're supposed to be doing right now. I already know that I'm not going to be able to use the straight one the catch can hits there so I'm going to use the other one the L I just haven't figured out where I want to put it yet so that is always the question isn't it routing it away from something hot so I'm going to go ahead and start that I believe you're only supposed to do that hand tight while I'm waiting on this to compress thread locker on, well not thread locker, Teflon tape on it too. On this they they like you to use Teflon tape anywhere you can leak fluid. I'm going to put my hose on. I am going to use hose clamps. I'd be so mad if I had to take this off. Alright, I can route that later. Alright, we should be done with that. Now we can install this. Make sure you have your
gasket on the back. Lined up correctly. Excuse me if I got my head in the way again. down um, 7.5 to 9.5 is 66 to 84 inch pounds There it is, nice and snug. We'll go over them again. Right. Remember, always release all the pressure off your torque wrenches when you put them away. There is that. Now we can move on to putting the cover on. Um, something I do have to mention. That I misplaced. Bear with me. I got stuff scattered everywhere. This backing plate. You want to put these on here. I already have that done. I think it was supposed to go to the inside. Trying to go off memory on all this from reading the instructions and the videos. Set that aside. Filter, I already have Loctite on the... bolts. Plenty of Loctite. And if you ever take these off, when you take these off, remember to chase your threads with a wire brush or something on a drill or thread chaser. Get the old Loctite out so you get a good seal and you're not over tightening. A little bit of a mess with that Loctite. Stuff scattered out everywhere, guys. That's the wrong size. But, oh, you can't hurt it on the wrench. Mm. 
Make sure this is seated over this lip properly before you tighten down. Um, it comes with a foam gasket to go around the, uh, this, but you don't need it with the cover I've got. Certain covers you do. too far. Start bending the cover, that's not great. You can orientate this. Now with this cover I've got, you've got to put the rain sock on before if you want to run it. Because with this cover, it's either you have one on or you don't. So I have to take this cover off just to put the rain sock on. It may have been easier to do that before I put the filter on, but each their own. Do it however you want to do it. First time I'm putting it on, so it's kind of everything's trial and error. Your first time, all right. Now, I believe we're ready for this. You put this in here so it looks black through there, so you don't have that exposed filter element. Now you put your nylon washers, attach this small side of the bolt to your spoke, the nylon washers in it, Loctite on both sides, remember that. That foam will make it not want to compress well. I just Work it in there. Make sure you don't cross thread it. That's what I always worry about. I hate re-threading stuff and some stuff you just can't. Before you get it tight is the time to position it. Too tight. I'm trying to decide how I want that spoke to go. That ought to do it. Now to later. Still trying to decide where I want this catch can. It's always the tricky part. I hope I position that right. Anyways, catch can doesn't matter. I have polished it all up. Made it look good. I'm gonna put that on later because it's getting late for me. Bring you around so you can get a better angle. Back this out. That's what it looks like on there. pretty good doesn't it guys that's all there is to it this is what I have left over for now a little bit of parts that's it so 
sorry guys I was in a bit of a hurry but that's what I got and I think it looks good I can't wait to try it out it's a good addition to the bike so thank you DK customs for that I did pay for it they're not cheap but uh, I am very happy with it so I'll see y'all later uh, don't forget to like subscribe share comment if you want and see you next time thanks